All right, tech fans, let's get real about one of the biggest silent battles happening right above our heads, the Beidou versus GPS tech war. If you've ever checked your phone for directions, tracked a parcel, or even just played Pokemon Go, you've relied on satellite navigation. But did you know it's not just America's GPS in the game anymore? China's Beidou system has quietly launched itself into orbit, literally, and it's giving GPS a serious run for its money. Let's break it down. GPS, or Global Positioning System, is run by the United States and has been the backbone of navigation since the 90s. Nearly every phone, car, and smart device plugs into GPS to figure out where on Earth you are. But here's the catch. It's controlled by the U.S. military. That means, in theory, access can be restricted or degraded for other countries during a conflict. Enter Beidou, China's answer to GPS. It started as a regional service, but as of 2020, it's global. With over 40 satellites zipping around the planet, Beidou offers pinpoint accuracy, two-way messaging, and even better coverage in the Asia-Pacific region. And just like GPS, it's totally free to use. Plus, it's not just for China. It's open to everyone. So what's the real difference? Well, GPS still has a slight edge in global coverage and reliability, especially in North America and Europe. But Beidou is hot on its heels, especially in high-rise cities where GPS sometimes struggles. Beidou's unique short message feature lets users send texts even if regular mobile networks are down, a big deal in emergencies. Let me give you a scenario. Imagine driving through Sydney, surrounded by skyscrapers. Your phone's navigation might get patchy with just GPS, but with Beidou on board, you're likely to stay locked in. For drone pilots, sailors, even farmers using autonomous tractors, having both systems means more accuracy, more reliability, and way less chance of getting lost. But there's a deeper layer. This isn't just about getting from A to B. It's about tech independence. Countries don't want to rely solely on foreign-controlled systems for critical infrastructure, right? So, as Beidou grows, expect to see more devices using both systems, giving us all a boost in precision and reliability. The bottom line. Whether you're a gadget geek, a navigation nerd, or just someone who hates getting lost, the Beidou vs. GPS showdown is one of the biggest tech stories you're not hearing enough about. Keep your eyes on the sky. The global navigation game is only just heating up. If you've learned something new, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Whose side do you reckon will win the tech war? Catch you in the next one.